Lord, right now we come together, Father God, we come together around the world just to say thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you for this fellowship, Lord. We come together right now to praise and worship you in spirit and the truth, Lord. And right now as we move to worship, as we move to worship, Lord, we feel your love right now, Lord. We feel your presence in this place right now, Lord, because you inhabit the praises of your people. Our praise ushered in your presence. And right now we feel the presence right now. We feel your presence in this place. And we just say thank you, Lord. Oh, just say thank you right now. Just open your mouth. Just say thank you, Lord. All the ways he's moving right now. All the ways he's moving in your life right now. All the ways he's touching all the ways he's delivering and healing and breakthrough and provision and direction and protection, whatever it is. Oh, just say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And right now we just bask, Lord. We bask in your presence, Lord. We bask in your presence. They say, use me, Lord. Use me. As you see fit for the kingdom. Just have your way. Have your way. You are the potter. We are the clay. Mold us, Lord. Mold us into what you need us to be. Today, Lord. Every day. Have your way, Lord. Have your way in every way. And right now we humbly bow, Lord. We humbly bow in your presence and say, use me. Yes, Lord. We take every worry, every stress, every fear, every struggle, every anxiety, every infirmity, whatever it is right now, heavy on your mind, whatever is heavy on your heart, take it right now and lay it on the altar. Whatever it is, lay it on the altar let go. Ball your fists together. Lay it on the altar. Let go. Do it again. Lay it on the altar. Let go. Let go. And let God do what he does best. For you, Lord, are the burden remover, the yoke destroyer, the way maker, the miracle worker, the mountain mover, the door opener, the great physician, the strong tower each of our lives whose hand we never let go, we never ever let go of your unchanging hand. You're the same yesterday, today, forevermore. You are the air we breathe as a deer panted for the water. So our soul longs after you, Lord, every single day. We inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love the Lord, to those who are called according to his purpose. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. With God, all things are possible. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale, the word of God. Those who wait on the Lord gain strength. 
Oh, Lord, right now, Lord, we feel the weightlifting right now, Lord. We feel the weightlifting right now. As we continue to inhale, exhale your favorite scripture. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale your favorite scripture. Thank you, Lord. Uh, right now we receive, Lord. We receive a fresh anointing right now. In the name of Jesus, we receive a fresh anointing right now. It's flowing right now. Open mouth, let's say it together. I receive a fresh anointing right now for this day. In the name of Jesus, I will say it again. I receive a fresh anointing for this day right now. In the name of Jesus. Anointing for victory. Anointing for healing. For breakthrough. Deliverance. For whatever it is you need. His anointing destroys every yoke. His anointing is the bird removing, yoke destroying power of God. Receive it. Bask in it. Immerse yourself in it. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let the blood of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus, Lord, flow through our blood vessels right now. Healing. Healing every diseased and diseased cell in our body, Lord. Let the blood of Jesus cover us from head to foot, Lord. Healing. 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 Everything right now in our life, every situation, every loved one, every family member, every struggle, every attack. We cast all our care on you, Lord. For you care for us, Lord. And we thank you in advance, Lord, for the victory taking place right now, the healing taking place right now, the victory in any way. Because we walk in obedience and have no fear. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. The Lord will fight for you. And you shall hold your peace. Thou shalt keep him in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on you, Lord. And your word says, be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. But let your request be made known to God and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. No stress, just rest. Stand still. Stand still. And know that I am God. Behold, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Says the Lord. Just chill. Stand still. In the presence of the Lord. Chill. Stand still. In the presence of the Lord. Mm. Chill. Stand still. In the presence of the Lord. Say it. Chill. Stand still. In the presence of the Lord. Oh, feel it. Chill. Stand still. In the presence of the Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Chill. Stand still. In the presence. Oh, yes, glory, glory. Chill. Stand still in the presence of Lord. No fear, just chill. Stand still in the presence of anxiety. Uh, chill. Stand still in the presence. Oh, no worries. Just chill. Stand
stand still in the presence of more well, peace and just chill. Stand still in the presence of more well, joy. Just chill. Stand still in the presence of Oh Lord, glory to God, just chill, stand still in the presence, oh feel a peace, just chill, stand still in the presence of Lord, oh yes Lord, chill, stand still in the presence of Lord, chill, stand still in the presence, the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Peace be still. Peace be still. Thank you, Jesus. Peace beyond understanding. Peace in the midst of chaos. Peace in the midst of struggle. Peace beyond understanding is God's peace. And the peace of God will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, take over, Lord. Take over, Lord.
vibes. As we bask in God's presence right now. And we lay everything on the altar right now. If you really let go, if you really let go, you should feel God's peace all over you right now. You feel his presence all around you right now. If you really let go. So make sure you let go of everything you laid on the altar and trust God. Lay it on the altar and trust. As we say all the time, I must trust. I must trust you, Lord. And I do trust you, Lord. I trust you, Lord, with all my heart. I trust you, Lord, with all my heart. And I lean not, Lord, I lean not to my own understanding. I commit in all my ways, I commit in all my ways, I acknowledge you, Lord, knowing that you will direct my path, Lord. And so I let go and trust. I let go and trust. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Because God is so real. God is so real. The only way we're all here right now is because God has been so real to each one of us here. God is so real.
and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Peace be still. Hallelujah. right now bask in the afterglow right now oh just put your hands up put your hands up thank you Jesus thank you Jesus you were the Lord thank you Jesus We worship you, Lord. We worship you in spirit and in truth, Lord. We thank you for this time together, basking together in your presence. Where two or more are gathered together in your name, you are in the midst, Lord. We feel your love and we feel that peace in your presence. Hallelujah. Amen. Before we close, as always, before we close, I always know someone's watching for the first time who doesn't understand this fellowship and why we're so driven, driven to come together six days a week, live archive. Come together around the world and praise and worship. Having never met physically, but knowing we all love our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And that makes us all brothers and sisters in Christ. But someone right now is watching who doesn't understand what fellowship is all about. So right now I'm going into the closing prayers and the prayer of salvation. As always, please no typing until after the closing prayers. Anything typed during the closing prayers is to need our respect for the Holy Spirit. Right now, I'm talking to the person listening, and you've been here. The you've been here the whole time, and you heard the praise, you heard the prayers, and you heard the testimonies. But right now, you can't connect, cause right now your life is falling apart. Worry, fear, stress, anxiety is all over you. Families turning away from you. Friends stabbing the back. And you may even feel like giving up on life itself right now. Yet somehow, you find yourself on this channel, have no idea how you got here. And that's because God brought you here. You're not here by accident. God brought you here because God sees what you're going through right now, physically, spiritually, emotionally. And that's why you're here. You may be using backslider and guilt. For whatever reason, you chose to leave God and go back to a life of sin and now your life is falling apart because you went back into the devil's world and now the devil is telling you once you leave God or fail God you could never go back and that right there is a lie from the pit of hell no one is perfect all have fallen short so if you said the prayer of salvation and then fell back into sin there is nothing the devil can do to take away your salvation. Just rededicate your life. Recommit your life to Christ. And there's nothing the devil can do to stop you. So right now, if you're a backslider and you want to come back to the Lord, right now your life is filled with depression and darkness and hopelessness, or you just don't know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, either way, I want you to pray with me. Repeat after me. Father God, forgive me for the wrong I've done and the wrong I've been. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I believe He died on the cross for me and my sins and was raised from the dead. I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. And I commit right now I will not do us nothing in life or make a single decision in life without living up to you first. 
Create me, O Lord, a clean heart. And remove from me anything and everything that's not like you. In Jesus' name. Now, if you said that prayer sincerely, your spirit is the right to receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a part of God that lives inside of us to teach us, to guide us, and to also convict us when you're not walking God's will. The Holy Spirit will show you people, activities, and things you're doing right now in your life, which is bringing darkness into your life. And he'll tell you how to reverse it. First of all, spend time with God every day. Not just every Sunday, every day. Spend time with God. Feed your spirit, starve your flesh. Feed your faith, starve your doubt every day. And the more time you spend with God every day, the more peace of mind you will feel in your life, which is God letting you know it's going to be all right. The next step is repent. And repent means to change your ways from sinful ways to godly ways. And the more time you spend with God, the stronger the Holy Spirit gets in you. And before you know it, you'll turn away from all those sinful things you used to do. And you'll seek God's way and God's will from this day forward. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we as a fellowship rebuke and bind the spirit's retribution, revenge, retaliation, backlash, and every other demonic spirit named unnamed, seen or unseen, who may try to attack anyone in this fellowship because of their participation, participation in this fellowship. And we cast all you demonic spirits out of our mind, out of our spirit, out of our home, out of our kids, out of our marriages, back to the pit hill from which you all came in Jesus' name. And Father God, loose Lord, loose into the fellowship, unspeakable joy. Loose peace beyond understanding. Loose restoration, Lord. Restore. Restore every area of life, Lord. Loose reconciliation, Lord. Bring reconciliation to marriages and families right now who are falling apart because of the devil attack, Lord. And Lord, please give a head protection over all the families and marriages who are not falling apart, but who the devil is still attacking every day, Lord. Loose supernatural healing, physical healing, spiritual healing, emotional healing. By your strike, we'll be healed. And we confess it every day. We confess it every day. I believe I receive my healing in the name of Jesus. I believe I receive my healing in the name of Jesus. Every day, confess it. Thank him. Confess it. Thank him. Every day, pray as if your life depends on it. P U S H. Pray until something happens. Loose supernatural overflow. Financial breakthrough. Supernatural debt cancellation. Lord, let your blessings, Lord, your blessings of abundance rain down, Lord. Rain down on a fellowship every financial need, whatever it is. For you to supply all our need according to your riches in glory in Christ Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want anything. O Lord, my shepherd, and let's say this part together, fellowship. Repeat after me. For I am the head, not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am the lender and not the borrower. I'm blessed going in and blessed going out. I'm blessed that I may be a blessing to others. I am out of debt. All my needs are met. I have plenty more to put in store. I am a child of God, and nothing shall my enemies hurt me or block my blessings in any way. In Jesus' name. <clears throat> and finally, Lord, we thank you for a miracle, Lord. Each person here has a miracle they're praying for right now. And now we know every day, Lord, every day we take time every day to see it, to visualize the miracle every day. See it, believe it, and then receive it in your heart. And as you receive it in your heart, Expect it. Expect your miracle every day. We don't know the when. We'll never know the exact when. But because we don't know when, that means any day, any day you wake up could be a day of the manifestation of the miracle you're praying for right now. So expect your miracle every day. May the Lord bless you and keep you family. 
May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord set his face of divine approval upon you and give you peace that you may be a blessing to everyone you touch and speak to, a blessing to everyone you pray for, a blessing to everyone you pass by. And bless with an open mouth because of love and light of the Lord is all over you. 24 7, 365, including deep here. So, Father God, all these things we ask, Lord, all these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. The fellowship say amen. 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 <laughs>